this? Dozens of them. Maybe you can try it. First I was afraid, I was petrified. <gasps> <gasps> Look at this. And there are the black ones as well, probably for the guys, for the men. Get thinking I could never live without you by my side. <laughs> They are different. Oh, these are also dresses. Look at this. Wow, it's also a dress. Right? Yeah, but they are all the same. Wow, there are lots of different types of dresses. <gasps> oh, this is. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm good. <laughs> but it looks quite fancy. It's quite nice. Wow, that one's actually quite beautiful. Yeah. Some kind of wings on it? They don't seem super expensive, I mean. Oh my god, what is that? It's <laughs> like a... What do they call that dog? A French bulldog? Yeah, I think so. Would you wear this one? Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me see what else is here for you. There are pants as well. Matching pants. But they are really wet. So it seems that there were women and men in this place, mm -hmm. right? Because lots of women clothes, men's clothes. Wow, this place is huge. Do you think someone lives here? There's even a temple, a small temple. Look at the fruit. I think that's probably orange here. Yeah. That one over there, it's impossible to recognize. But look at this. <laughs> it seems really like a secret club. Yeah, I think that's the right word, gentleman's club. It has a very masculine energy here. You think so? Yeah, I can. Why is that? I don't know, it's just a feeling. Mm -hmm. oh, that's crazy, look at the plant. Oh, but there are Christmas decorations. Do you think it's late or early? Maybe last year is <laughs> Christmas decorations. And there are these big rooms actually i noticed that all of them are quite different mm. like the decoration is different it seems like a bit thai right yeah like the elephants oh, this one has horses and all the mirrors so many mirrors like the why do you think they got so many mirrors <laughs> <laughs> it's it seems quite abandoned but it also has a different atmosphere i just keep feeling that it's a very masculine energy here mm. some kind of secret club mm. just for men yeah and that would make sense if you look at the decorations mm. right? and here seems that it's like a reception mm. Wow, look at this phone. It's not a phone. Walkie talkie. Walkie talkie. Yeah. Why is it gold? Is it turned on? We could probably turn it on. Is that... It seems quite old though. Yeah. Look at this point. Everything seems quite bad here. It's crazy just how someone could abandon a place like this. Just the light stick turn on. It does not. Actually, I think that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I think I left it here last time. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm sure I left what it. What is this? Uh, it's like a fire mask. If there's a fire, oh, you fire put that on. Oh, fire mask. Yeah, it seems like, s like someone would live here mm. and have these, like the bottle of these objects. I like the decorations though, they're quite fancy. Which ones? I mean, the, all of them, I would say. Look at the stairs. Wow. This would be the kind of place where you would have like large scale events, mm -hmm. like balls, right? Have you been to a ball before? Yes, but not in a place like this. <laughs> I think it would be amazing. I mean, not abandoned, but it... <gasps> wow, what is this? I think these are the coats for the hostesses. Mm. You know, uh, there's a ground floor entrance to this place with an elevator just where we were. 
So they might have been greeting people outside. Mm. So I really like rat. Mm. Should take one. <laughs> But well, we were saying that this place has a, a, a masculine energy. Oh. That the costumes are actually, the, the coats the, are actually feminine, right? But what does it mean that the women are in the closet? Oh, oh mm. interesting. Locked away in a secret space. And there's one over there as so. well. With a, a can of beer. Oh, it's not open. It's not open. Are you going to drink it? Mm, I don't think no, so. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's forbidden to smoke here. Mm, I don't really believe that. Wow, this is like the master room. Wow, this is like a house. It's huge. Bigger than most apartments in Shanghai. Yeah. <laughs> and look at the dust. It's really. It's been a long time since someone has cleaned this space. Yeah. And all the empty cups. What is this? What? Wow, are these hats or something? I could imagine these as being like hats. Are you going to put it on? Uh, don't think, yeah. How does that look? <laughs> you look like a Chinese ethnic minority. <laughs> I think these would make sense for, um, for a secret club, like a kind of they got like you a know, secret hat. Yeah. Well. Should we sing? I can't sing. I'm not that. a bad singer. Okay. I can sing Chinese New Year songs. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, that's very appropriate, right? Molly Hua, yeah, Molly Hua. How we do many de Molly Hua. How we do many de Molly Hua. Fen Fang Mei Li Man Zhi Ya. <laughs> yeah, I was just singing recently, so that's oh. what I remember. <laughs> we got more hats here. I mean, KTV, KTV places in China, they are always quite fancy, right? But I think this one is really different. These are probably for those games that Chinese people like to play. Yeah. John Walker, no, keep, Johnny Walker, Johnny like Walker, whiskey. keep walking. Yeah. Wow, it's a brand. Yeah, it seems like they were playing some games here. And these are more hats. I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> 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 I just like the hats idea. <laughs> wow, what is this? Smoking is strictly forbidden. So why do you think people are attracted to abandoned places like this? I think it's all about the energy of the place. Mm. I feel that it's a very heavy energy somehow. Everyone that has been here actually left their energy here, right? I think that's what happened with all places. Um, but when it's abandoned, I'm pretty sure that we're not alone. Do you think that's like an energy that could be measured somehow? I would say that most sensitive people would probably feel those energies. Mm. I can have this feeling of the people that been that have been here before mm. i would say look at that the painting yeah the painting is i really like the paintings they also have like a story looks like a place in europe a farm yeah i think all these decorations are quite european in a sense right Oh, and the, I think you just found the men's room. Yeah, this <laughs> it's just a toilet. But it's a fancy toilet though, even though not very clean. But mm. The thing is, I get easily get lost here. Mm. Do you have that feeling as well? Like, it seems like... I don't know if I yes. can find the entrance though. <laughs> I don't think that's just in this place though. I think that's in all KTVs. Really? I always get lost in KTVs. And I think that's to encourage you to stay and get drunker and drunker and drunker. That makes a lot of sense. Mm. Yeah, and I can never find a toilet in KTV. That's true. <gasps> oh. Well, they are wearing hats. <laughs> I 
It's an mm. elephant has a very strange trunk. Yeah, they love. Yeah, it's like a, a snake. <laughs> it looks like a snake somehow. I think this is the orchid room. You afraid? Mm. Wow. I feel that we, we are being watched. He looks kind of scary actually. Right? Because as you as you step into these rooms, like his face is like looking, staring at us. It looks like he's kind of melting. Yeah. What happened to that painting? Maybe somebody's painted over it a bit. But what about this painting at the end? I think that describes pretty well the energy of this place. Oh. How do you feel about this painting? I think this painting is interesting because of this guy in the corner, just there. Yeah. I think that guy represents the person looking at this painting. You know, like they're sneaking a look at everything that's going on, you know, uh, like a peeping Tom or something. The voyeur, that's the word. Yeah. And they're like sneaking a look at everything that's going on here. That makes sense. But it's not very Chinese. Yeah, it's not Chinese at all. That's the thing. I've never seen paintings like this in China. Yeah. I don't think it's even allowed, right? To have these kind that, of paintings. Maybe that's why they closed it down. Would, would you have this painting in your house? I don't think so. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't have a good energy. <laughs> I feel a little bit nervous here. And you can actually look up. Yeah, you're there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at uh, the plants. I, I just feel, I never seen this amount of dry plants in my life. So. <laughs> What kind of parties would they hold here? Do you think they would have parties? This doesn't seem like a, a common KTV room. <gasps> Look at there. Wow. Yeah, that's the strange thing about it. It's like as if they used it for a couple of parties and then it just got abandoned. This is my favorite painting in the whole place. <sighs> what are they doing? the sound. There are fish in there. It's like an ocean. It has a much more feminine energy, this painting. Yeah. I mean, I think this place needs a balance, right? It's so masculine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess they need to have some feminine decoration. Well, everything is alive, right? Everything has cautious. Yeah, actually, if you study um, about quantum physics, mm -hmm. it all says that everything is conscious. Like, all objects are made of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Atoms, right? So... And I was reading recently about how all of this, how modern science basically tries to avoid consciousness. And that's why it's so difficult to measure it, because science doesn't focus on it. And this yeah. all goes back to Galileo. And when Galileo was first creating science, he purposely chose to avoid measuring consciousness and discussing consciousness. You know, like he was aware of it and he thought about it, but it was so difficult to measure that he just excluded it from his concept yeah. of science. I think some scientists spend their whole lives um, st studying and, and having their own perspectives. Mm. Then when they reach another conclusion, it's just too late to, yeah. you know, contradict everything they, mm. they have been saying. So it's just some people how get, people usually react to places like this. Well, some people get super excited and, you know, like they want to bounce off the walls and... Ah, I feel know. a little bit nervous here. And you can actually look up and it's mirrors all around. Can I see your face in there? Uh, I think so. A Can little you? bit. Not on the <laughs> I think camera. this one is more clear. Oh, I think here is probably more clear. 
Yeah, you're there somewhere. <laughs> Look at uh, the plants. I I just feel I never seen these amount of dry plants in my life. So, <laughs> what kind of parties would they hold here? Do you think they would have parties? This doesn't seem like a, a common KTV room. Mm -hmm. I think just oh my rich God, people. This is so dark. If this place was in Portugal, what would it look like inside if it was abandoned? If it was abandoned? Mm. I don't know. Because this place is quite untouched, right? Yeah, that's the strange thing about it. It's like as if they used it for a couple of parties and then it just got abandoned. Look at these chairs. Or this could also be a place for old people to retire. <laughs> so, <laughs> this actually looks like um, like a, a place in Portugal where we also have this pointing to the sea, like from the discoveries period. Where it looks wow. Well, this points at all the. <laughs> This is my favorite painting in the whole place. What are they doing? Did you hear? Yeah, what? I heard the sound. There are fish in there. It's like an ocean. It has a much more feminine energy, this painting. Yeah. I mean, I think this place needs a balance, right? It's so masculine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess they need to have some feminine decorations. Look at this. It's also like an old man. Getting fresh with a young girl. Yeah. Did you hear something? Yeah. Did you? It's just the building. The thing about these buildings is they have like a life of their own. They breathe and they stretch. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that makes total sense. Well, everything is alive, right? Everything has cautious, oh. consciousness. Yeah, actually, if you study um, about quantum physics, mm -hmm. it all says that everything is conscious. Like all objects are made of the same thing, mm -hmm. atoms, right? And I was reading recently about how all of this, how modern science basically tries to avoid consciousness. And that's why it's so difficult to measure it because science doesn't focus on it. And yeah. this all goes back to Galileo. And when Galileo was first creating science, he purposely chose to avoid measuring consciousness and discussing consciousness. You know, like he was aware of it and he thought about it, but it was so difficult to measure that he just excluded it from his concept yeah. of science. I think some scientists spend their whole lives um, st studying and, and having their own perspectives. Mm. Then when they reach another conclusion, it's just too late to yeah. you know, contradict everything they, mm. they have been saying. Naked people. These girls are trying to pull him into the water. Though. Yeah. What is this though? It's just decoration. I came here with some Belgian guys and they say that in Belgium they have these as like chimneys or oh. some kind of heating system. Okay. But here it doesn't really have any function. Oh, I feel that we are in the Middle East now. Yeah, I feel that this place has like different um, geographical parts somehow. Okay, now we are arriving in the Middle East. But all these symbols are quite meaningful, right? I don't know, I'm actually paying a lot of attention to this one over here. Right? It's it's like an African vibe, mm -hmm. right? I actually have seen similar masks like with this kind of um, symbols mm -hmm. in Nepal. Mm -hmm. So it somehow also transports me to Nepal. 
Is that what a camel's foot looks like? Let me think how a camel's foot looks like. There's another one over there. It's not, right? No, no. Camels how, don't look like that. How do, how do they look like? <laughs> I don't know, isn't it like a donkey or something? they got two big toes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Camels? What do you call animals with two toes? By... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but I think that's what probably they want to represent here. Yeah. It kind of looks like a sneaker, though. Yeah. It's got, like, cogs on it as well. Yeah. Or, like, it's a machine or something. So many different symbols. And why are they facing walls? Because I think in China... Mm. Like they pay so much attention to feng shui, mm -hmm. right? The the direction of the the elements is very important. But here it seems that it's just facing a wall. Yeah, yeah. And to me, this kind of seems like a symbol of silence, not being able to speak out. I don't know. Just this um, circle mm -hmm. in the in his mouth looks like being unable to speak out the things that he can see. Don't you feel that? Like the two eyes, they can see, but... Like, but they can't speak. Yeah. So maybe that's what this place is about. This is a place where you can see things, but you can't talk about the things that you see here. That like makes they sense. Say, uh, and what is that? Why is this, like, covering the, the door? Why don't you go through the door and find out? There's lights in there. Go in, have a look. There's nobody in there. Are you sure? <laughs> nobody comes in there. It's just there. Okay. Why is this covered? I don't know. Looks like it's falling down a bit. I don't think we need light here. It's written here. It looks like Soho in Beijing, you know, the, the two Jing big... Wang Soho or Galaxy Soho? There's two, right? Yeah, I'm not very clear about the mm. name, but yeah. It has the same shape. And it's huge. Yeah. Is that something written down in that closet? Something written, right? Yeah. Oh no, it's a flower. <laughs> it seemed like characters. To be honest, I'm completely lost here. Like, thanks God I'm with you, because <laughs> I would get completely lost here. Where are those numbers written down? It's just the, the orders, probably. I think the numbers, I think they're trying to auction, or they were planning to auction all the furniture. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it's a waste, right? Yeah, I'm very curious about what's inside of the shelves and... Wow, shots. <laughs> what's your favorite shot? I don't really like shots at all. So. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. I actually prefer tea. I'm very Chinese in that sense. <laughs> You've gone native, right? Yeah. Why do you think they have this? It's just... No, this is a lot of... I think there's like dust. a light switch or something there before. Uh, it's a instrument. And look at the, the emblem. What are those words? Out... What does that say? Topping... Something topping house. Topping house. What's an outdoor topping house? Is it outdoor? Yeah. What's a topping house? It's not outdoor. It's not? Mm, only one. Oh. Oh, yeah. Mm. I don't know. Topping house. Oh. Well, in and in Chinese, they have di mm. which is like um, country. Right? No, an empire, right? Yeah, empire, exactly. Mm. Empire. Di Shanghai. Yeah. Shanghai Empire. Mm. 
So now you're the empress. I think this is um, the space for empress, mm -hmm. not imp empresses. <laughs> There's a, a tea, a bottle tea. Well, you just said you like tea, right? <laughs> yeah, I think this is oh, this is law of attraction, right? Oh. Yeah, I think I, I think of tea and tea comes to me. But I, the, I'm, I'm good. I'm does good. the law of attraction work for you? Yeah, it does. Yeah? I love vision boards and um, visualization. What things have you been visualizing recently? <sighs> So writing a book mm -hmm. is one of them, um, and it's actually coming true very recently. What's the book about? Uh, it's about learning Chinese. Yeah. Well, but there's there's power banks here, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like this is quite a recent thing, right? So yeah, I think this place has just been abandoned in the last five years or so. Okay. When did they start with the the shared power banks? I've only, again, I've only seen that in the last five years or so. I think less than that, actually. Yeah? Yeah. I think these flowers are creepy. What's creepy about it? <laughs> it's just the building talking to you. Are you sure? Yeah. The building. I, I don't like flowers, especially red fake flowers. They look very spooky. Wow, look at that. Can you play? Not really, but I can try. <laughs> As well, no, are you sure? No, but like no, this way, it's fine. only me. I'm in my people videos. don't see you. I'm in my videos all the time. People know what I am. It's like oh. the most expensive Chinese baijiu. I have tried it only once, mm. uh, but I think it's just yeah. baijiu. I don't really appreciate it. Do you have but... any like baijiu stories where you got completely smashed? Well, I have <laughs> 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 like stories of mixing baijiu with other kinds of drinks. It's not a good idea. Yes. Don't do that. Do you, get a bit, <laughs> do you get wild or do you just fall asleep? No, it's just more like falling asleep and how about you? <laughs> You want to know about me? I don't like fights at all. How do you feel about the experience today? Well, I felt that it was really intense. I think the the I could feel really tension in my body. You know, I was really nervous in some places because at first I couldn't really find a way. I, I would say if you were not with me, I would just get completely lost. Mm. Like the whole energy of the place was quite heavy. Yeah, it was very masculine. I felt. I would say it's it was a very nice experience. Um, not necessarily an experience to repeat. <laughs> So, you're starting your own channel, right? Yeah, that's what's, right. What's your channel going to be about? Uh, so my idea is to really interview people on their um, their ideas about China, so their true tr true perspectives about China. So I'm doing now that in Portuguese mainly. Um, I probably will expand it a little bit uh, and interview other people. But it's really because I feel that in the Western media, people talk about China in a way that doesn't really resonate with me and it's not really the true vision uh, about China. So I just want to, to give people other perspectives. Your day job is kind of interesting as well, right? Can yeah. you tell us anything about that? Yeah, I organize events. Um, so basically everything from birthday parties to, you know, cooking workshops, mm -hmm. a little bit of cooking like workshops. that. Yeah. Like Portuguese cooking workshops? Not only Portuguese. <laughs> 
think we could organize an event in here? Wow, I think that would be amazing. Yeah. Actually, I love to organize birthday parties. So I think doing like a birthday party in a place like this would be oh. amazing. My birthday is in August. Oh. <laughs> That's only another seven months, right? Six yeah, months. Not, not too long. <laughs> I actually need to start thinking out that, so mm. who knows? Cool. <laughs> so would you recommend coming out to places like this? I would, I would, I would. It's a mix of emotions. Mm. I would really recommend coming. Like it's uh, just exciting at first mm. and then you get like all kinds of emotions like mm. fear and, and nervousness and all sorts of emotions but it's well, definitely an experience. Thanks, thanks a million for coming out with me today. Thank uh, you. It's always fun.